Hey folks, Dr. Mike here from Renaissance Periodization. Welcome back to the Targeting the Muscle series. Today's episode is on the lat pull down. If you have trouble feeling your lats, getting your lats hit, experiencing lat soreness, all that stuff, growing your lats, stimulating your lats with a lat pull down, we have some tips and tricks for you to maybe get to feel that muscle a little bit more, help you target that muscle, stimulate the lats, and get an enormous back that inconveniences you at every turn. Let's take a look at our first tip. All right, tip number one is to play around with the kind of grips that you're taking. There are a lot of options. Super common question we get is, what's the ideal grip for the lat pull down in order to simulate the lats or various other parts of the back? And to be completely honest with you, there is no possible answer. It's just not the way the system of knowledge works. Because people are built differently, there can be no correct answer. Right? It's like saying, what's the ideal size spoon to eat with? Well, if you're Brian Shaw and you're six foot, whatever the fuck, and thousand pounds, you might need a bigger spoon than a baby who can't even pick up Brian Shaw's spoon. Same way here, we have a lot of options. Let me use my height deficiency. I'm, by the way, for those of you asking, I'm four foot 11 and a half. How do I get up to this thing? Well, uh, uh, hey, hey, oh my God, I can see the wild. What are the options? Super wide. Absolutely a, a fine grip, especially if it feels okay in your shoulder. Standard wide grip, which is usually on the crease. A grip just in here, and you guessed it. Every single fist or even two finger increment on the way in up until you're over here and then it's narrow grip. And this is a perfectly viable grip. So all of these grips will change the movement slightly. For example, if you're gripping ultra wide, and we're doing a lat pull down, at the very bottom, you might not be able to arch anymore. You might have to roll your shoulders over a little bit to touch. Whereas, if you have a more narrow grip, you might be able to pull down and stay strict the entire time. So just a heads up, when you are experimenting with different grips, it will change the feel of the movement, it will change the mechanics. But that's a good thing, because if one of these isn't seemingly hitting your lats all that well, there's a pretty decent chance that one of them will. How do you best implement these? Play around one day and find which one really feels seemingly the best. Minimum or no joint pain in the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and one in which you can really feel your back contracting and expanding. Once you find that variant, or several, to use in a program that lasts one to two months, use it, use it, use it repeatedly. Because as you use it week in and week out, you actually are able to micro adjust make corrections and really groove into it. If after you know one or two months of using it, you take a deload, you're like, oh, that felt really great. I'm gonna keep it. Great, you got yourself a fine exercise. However, if you didn't love it, try another variation, preferably a pretty different one, for another few weeks, give it justice as long as it feels good in the test. Give it a few weeks. I've had situations where I've tried a variation, I tried a grip, I didn't love it, it felt okay, after a few weeks, I loved it and it worked great. So don't just say, ah, it feels weird this time. Find something that feels decent, try it, try it for a while, then try something else. And after a while, you'll probably have a collection of lat pull down grips that work really well for you. All right, folks, next tip is another series of techniques for you to try. So there's no one right way to do a pull down. Some people prefer one, some prefer the other, and there's actually a spectrum of options in between. One of the ways, maybe the classic way, is to pull the bar straight down and touch right around your clavicles, right at the base of your neck. Nothing wrong with it, great option. Another way to do pull downs is actually to touch somewhere along your sternum, just below your pecs. And of course, everything in between is also a valid answer. Which one of these is better for lats? No clue. You could be built a little differently than some other people and the answer is completely different. It could be all the correct answers, could be none the correct answer. But if you don't know about it, you might have written off the lat pull down is not a great exercise. If you've only been touching the clavicles, try a mesocycle of two, you know, four to eight weeks of training where you go to the sternum every single time and you may find that that's better and vice versa. Next option, you should try both to see which one that uh, you seem to get a better stimulus from. One option is to stay completely upright and pulling the bar down. So you stay upright, you don't lean back, you touch, come back up, 
touch, come back up. Notice there's no leaning, nothing like that. The other option, which I personally prefer, is before I start pulling, I'll lean back a ton. It's not a momentum thing where I'm doing this. It's not to lift more weight. I lean back a little bit and all of a sudden, this arc here versus a straight up and down feels like it hits my back better. So I'm slightly lean back. I touch and here's the important thing. You still want a big stretch at the top. So I would recommend leaning forward at the top to get a big stretch, reaching up with your hands, lean back, pull, lean forward, lean back and pull versus stay straight up and just do lat pull downs just like that. Again, there's no correct answer. Try both. See which one you seem to get a better stimulus from. Next tip, feel free to use a bunch of different attachments. There's not just the straight bar. I've, I got a sampling here. There's way more attachments than that. I'm actually trying to build an attachment collection, but we got the mag grip shit over here. Um, you basically put your hands in like this, like that. And of course, pull. Uh, sometimes for some people, it feels amazing. And they report that with these kinds of grips, they can really feel their back and their lats much better than with a straight bar. Totally fine. You can use that for a while. And again, we're not looking for the forever correct answer. We're looking for the correct answer for the next mesocycle of training, next four to eight weeks of hard training, then a deload, and then you can use it again or switch to something else. Here's a cool one you, you won't see in many places. Non-rotating bar. It just happens to be colored red. Blood. <laughs> I bought it off a of vampire. So in any case, here's the thing. You plug it in like this. Notice there's no rotation. So if you put your Versa grips or straps in, it locks. And that way, if your grip is limiting factor on pull downs, and you're just like, fuck, I can't get this shit to work right. My forms always pump up. And even on a regular pull uh, down bar, it's a rotating bar. So even if you have your Versa grip, sometimes it starts to slip away. If you try this bar, notice it's thin and non-rotating. Holy fucking shit. With a lot of these bars, you can feel like your grip is stapled in and then it's all back, which is two things. One, you get more reps, limited now by your lats instead of your forearms. And two, if your grip isn't a thing you have to think about anymore, if it's locked in with straps or versa grips or chalk, then all you have to do is think about your back, which is great because you get a better mind-muscle connection. Lastly, just as a sampling, this is not only the three correct answers. I don't know what the fuck this is, how it works. I know basic anatomy, don't put your dick in here because, you know, bad things will happen or do and fun things will happen. Never can tell. This is cool because these are independently rotating and you can pull them all sorts of wacky ways. You can use this for rolling as well. It's a neat bar. I got it. I used it like for one mezzo and I was like, yeah, that was neat. But in any case, cornucopia of grips, try them all. Some of them will make you think, oh, I'm wasting my time. The straight bar is better. Totally cool. Some of them, and you don't know which ones. You'll use them and you'll be like, holy fucking shit. I wrote lat pull downs off entirely, but with this grip, I'm a fucking, I might as well be part of the machine. And then all of a sudden you have a new friend. Last tip here for lat pull downs. If you have trouble feeling lats, trouble stimulating, trouble targeting, what you can do is try to control the eccentric a little bit better. So what I see a lot, and this happens and some people, it works for them, is they'll do lap pull downs, boom, boom, just like a machine, totally fine. If you struggle with stimulating your lats, what you could do is come down nice and quick, but then on the way back up, you may wanna slow the eccentric, really control it, and really feel your elbows traveling up in an arc, only restrained by your lats. Touch and then uh, slow and let your elbows arc and then touch them and slow. It's gonna want to bounce right off your chest, slow it down immediately, even below your chin. Ugh. Control, and then you're good to go. All right, that's all the tips we have so far to help you feel your lats and your back a little bit more during lat pull downs. Let me know if you like the tips. Let me know what works for you in the comments below. And also, if there's an exercise you want us to get to, don't worry, we have a list of like 32 exercises still left in the series. If you have an exercise that you really want us to comment on how to make that target muscle feel better, please drop it in the comments. Like, subscribe, do YouTube things. I'll see you guys next time.